is our first DIY Sunday. Um, it's also March 1st, so it's National Pig Day. For me, it's just an excuse to cook bacon and eat a bunch of stuff. So the pin that I found that we're going to do ourselves and hopefully not completely ruin is this right here. It's called Porky Pigskin. Um, the guy who invented the or came up with the recipe, his name is Clint Cantwell. Um, if, you, if you want to look at the actual list of ingredients and directions and everything like that, you can find it on my Pinterest, which is in the link below. Um, I'm not doing it on a grill because it's 1 o'clock in the morning and it's cold outside and I'm not so good with the grill and my husband's asleep. So we're going to do it with the stove or we're going to try to and hope that it turns out halfway decent. We're going to get all of our ingredients together. I'm going to move the camera around a little bit so you can see exactly what we need. For the legs, um, it has us take four. This, it says that I needed two of these, but I only got one because I didn't really think that my pig needed to look like he was on stilts. So um, we've got that. And then for the inside of our pig, we have just uh, regular pork sausage, just breakfast sausage, but it says that you need about a pound of it. So that's what I got for that. This is the bacon that I went with. I went, went ahead and went with the Walmart brand because it's cheaper. I went with the thick sliced because in my opinion, that's the best kind to get. So that is going to be the, once we form the body with the breakfast sausage, then we layer it around like we make the, the pig skin pretty much with this, which if you really kind of, it's kind of creepy now that I really think about it. Um, in the picture, it looks like you took like a thick slice of ham, but I already had this anyway from making lunches and stuff. So we'll see if that turns out or if it just gets burnt to a crisp and it looks like our pig has black ears. The last thing is it says that you needed Vienna sauces. Almost forgot to mention, um, since we're not doing it on the grill, you get just a broiler pan, just like this or whatever and I line everything with aluminum foil if I can so that it's not so hard to wash when I'm done. All right, so you need this, though I don't think it really matters what size because from what I can tell from the ingredients and stuff, this thing's not going to be like feed a family of four. I think it's probably going to be like a meal for two kind of thing once we're done with it, if it's edible. Rah. All right, so let's cut. Oh, great. So it says to make an oval with it. Oh, I don't understand. Okay. So make it like that, I guess. There we go. That's oval-ish, right? Okay. So we have our, our body. And then it says easy open. It's, it has to work, right? All right. You know what? <laughs> That's what we have knives for, right? All right. Oh, <laughs> it didn't even work. <laughs> All right. So, I guess it doesn't really matter where you cut it. We'll do like that. That that looks like a pig leg, right? Sure. Okay. Okay. So one, two. I I knew that there couldn't have been a reason that we needed four of these. It just doesn't make sense to me. So we're gonna take this and leave it where it is right now okay so let's i guess flip his body over put him on his back and stuff and all right make his little that yeah just stick his legs in and it's like kind of like really funky smelling gross play-doh sort of I don't know that I'm going to ever do one of these ever again after this. Um, alright, wait. Yeah, like, put it... Oh, alright. Just smash it down in there, and then we'll figure it out. And now we no longer have an oval, but we have feet. Let's do it this way. Okay, so he has his feet. I think now I kind of get why they weren't short pieces. Okay, let's start over with that. 
make the oval shape. Make it a pig. That's probably why they said that they that you needed a few of these polar sausage things. Let me turn it around so I see what's really doing. So let's just try one like maybe a little bit longer. Because we've still got half of this in this so-called easy to open. <laughs> so of course we need our legs even. Yay. So the legs. Well, I don't see how this is really kind of it makes it look so easy in the pictures. Okay. Um I don't think this is gonna work, but because right now it looks kind of just like a little pork uh, mushroom that went terribly wrong. Maybe I'm not smishing it right. Oh wait, I think I kind of got it. Maybe it's good on this side, so that's what counts, right? Like, woo, pig shape. What? What? Sticky star for finally getting the pig shape. Kind of. So how are we going to wrap this thing with bacon? How does... How does that work? I'm really kind of curious. Okay, so the next step... Prep time, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oven's ready. That's good. At least something's going somewhat right. Cut a bean... Okay, so now I have to cut one of these into an inch and a half. These things aren't even, I don't even think these things are an inch. That's, that's, that. Hmm, look at that. It's upside down, but look at that. It is, it is an inch. I'm impressed. The more you know. Rainbow. Okay, um, let's get eye to eye with this mother, mother trucker. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> uh, there, pig nose, and he's got his little feet. Wrap his little head in bacon, and we're bacon. I guess this way, like that. Maybe. That's close enough. Alright, so get another piece. And since it's around his back and his belly and all of that, I'm just going to like try to get it around his feet. Wow, look, check his feet out. That's, he's walking. That's what that is. He is running away from this terrible project. Guess what? Pig butt. Next time I look at something, I'm like, oh, it has bacon. That's awesome. I'm so going to do that. Remind me to say no. All right. That's, is that totally wrapped up? Are his legs sticking out like they're supposed to? No, they're not. The whole thing will fall apart if you turn it upside down. Do not turn it upside down. Whatever you do, it will kill your pig. Okay. Ah, lullaby. Yeah, that's a don't fall apart. It's like it's slowly. My sister in law has already told me that she doesn't even want to try to eat it because she can't eat something that looks like the animal that she's eating. Which, I don't know. We didn't climb our way to the top of the food chain to eat salads, so I'm perfectly happy eating bacon and burgers and stuff like that. Okay, so I think <laughs> I think this is our pig. I think that's it. Oh wait, no, we didn't put his ears in yet. Just happy little pig. Okay, so now that we have our hedgehog looking pig thing, we're going to take a roller pan. 
camera so you can maybe see a little bit better of what I'm doing. Kind of. Alright, good enough. Alright, so we're going to take this little guy. Oh, oink, oink, oink. His day. Say, you're me, National Me Day. And throw him in the burlap bin. Which is a little weird. I'm a little odd. Open that up. Say, bye, pig. Happy cooking, pig. <clears throat> Place pig on cool part of the grill, cover, and allow it to cook for approximately 45 minutes. It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm oh. <laughs> well, at least my husband awake at the breakfast. What's bright side? Uh, sticky star for that one, right? All right. So, timer just went off. I can't. I'll eventually promise. I figure out this whole camera thing. I promise. So, um, doesn't really look done to me. Pick it for about another 25 minutes or so, and then hope maybe it's done. Um, so far, not really looking like the picture. But, like I said, if it turns out awesome, woo! Sticky star for us! Woo! If it turns out kind of like it's looking like it's going to turn out, then we at least tried. And maybe it'll taste really yummy. We don't know yet. But we'll find out here in about half an hour. Okay? All right. So our timer that we set for about 25 minutes just went off, so I'm going to take it out of the oven again, check it, and see if it's the inside of it's done yet. Okay, so, I don't know, I think that looks done, and the bacon looks done. We're going to perform pig surgery, so one side looks pretty, and hopefully not burn ourselves in the process. There. Okay. Okay, so the bright side to this entire experiment is it smells really good, so you know, maybe my husband will wake up to something smelling good. This, can you see that? <laughs> um, looks nothing like the picture. It still, I think, kind of looks like um, it looks like a cross between a hedgehog and an armadillo. I, that's what I'm going to classify this as. This is our Hedgedillo, uh, made out of pork. Mm. It's a little hot. <laughs> now that I've done burnt crap out of my mouth, it's actually really, really good, which we knew it would be, because it's, like, my favorite things all put together. It's sausage, it's bacon, and it's full of sausage. How can you possibly go wrong with that? If you like this and you want to subscribe to my channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to see the recipe for this pig disaster that we made, um, you can click my Pinterest link. Um, and <laughs> that my Pinterest not only has our hedgedillo made out of pork, um, it also has a lot of other DIY pins. And if you see a pin that you think that I should do, or if you want to see if I can pull it off, or if you just think it'd be really funny to see me try, um, shoot me a message, and I will do my best. Every Sunday, we're going to do a DIY Pinterest thing. Every Thursday, I'm going to release a video just kind of talking to you guys um, about pretty much whatever inserts my mind. Sometimes that'll be kind of funny, sometimes a little bit more serious, but this is the beginning. Tune in next time. Thank you, guys. Bye.